Hi everyone, I'm Mohit at Salesforce Developer Advocate here and welcome to another episode of Einstein Copilot for Developers. Now, if you have missed any of our previous episode, you can catch up by clicking the link down below. Now, in today's video, we are going to learn how to set up Copilot. Now, this is crucial because you need to have it set up before you can start customizing your Copilot. Let's dive right in. First, let me show you how you can enable Einstein Copilot once your org has those required licenses. So first, turn on Einstein Generative AI from the setup. Next, from the setup in the quick find, enter Copilot and then select Einstein Copilot. Now turn on Einstein Copilot for Salesforce. Next, we need to give the right permissions to the users who will be using Einstein Copilot. So head back to the setup and enter users in the quick find box. Select the name of the user which you want to assign Einstein Copilot access and then scroll down to that permission set group assignment sections and then click on edit assignment. There are two permission set groups related to the Copilot. Copilot Salesforce user PSG is what you need if you simply want your users to be able to access to the Einstein Copilot AI Assistant. Now, if you need your users more than that, like for example, if you need admin capabilities here that allows your users to build and manage Copilots, then assign Copilot Salesforce admin PSG. Now, let's customize the Copilot experience for your users using Copilot Builder. Head back to setup and enter Copilot. And here, choose that Einstein Copilot option and click on it. Here, you can see that there is a open in builder at the top of this detail page. Click on it. And first here, I want to show you how you can customize the tone of your Copilot via the language settings. Note that these language settings are editable only once you deactivate the Copilot. And you can deactivate the Copilot using the deactivate button you see here. In the Copilot, select that language settings and choose the tone from the drop down. So here you can see we have different options. Let's say for this uh, use case, I'm choosing neutral. Now using the right tone ensures that the Copilot communicates in a way that aligns with your brand. Now, additionally, I want to show that you can modify the system messages like welcome and the error messages. So to do that, again, just head back to that Einstein Copilot from the setup and go to the system messages sub tab. And here you can see that you can customize that welcome messages and error messages. Once you make changes, make sure that you save your changes. Now, as a concluding tip, I want to remind that Copilot Builder is where you can deactivate and activate your Copilot. In the Copilot Builder, click Activate to make it live for your users and click Deactivate if you need to, say, add some Copilot actions or remove some of these Copilot actions or as I showed in the previous section, if you want to make any changes to your language settings or system messages. Now that is it for this video. In the upcoming video, we'll learn how to build custom Copilot action using Apex. And here are some of the resources for you to get started with Einstein Copilot. The first link here is where you can sign up for a five day trial org with Einstein Copilot access. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the Salesforce Developers channel so you get notifications when we post new videos. Thank you.